Nini with that bloody thing. Oh, Chris, oh my God, what's wrong? Your boobs in his face isn't going to help anything. I'm oh, fine. I haven't seen him in like decades, and he's all upset. Oh, look at him. Probably just a midlife crisis. Uh, really, it's not. You see, we're not all terrified of aging, Nick. There's is always a birthday just around the corner in Ferndale, and there have been plenty of unforgettable ones over the years. The most memorable was surely Chris's 50th birthday bash. Dr. Love. Let's up go a bit. <coughs> Thanks. They're not so stink after all. Rachel left you with some mates. How about we stop bringing up Rachel all the time? Hell yeah, she's moved on. Why can't you? Is she with someone else? Nick. No. You just said. Waverly said not to. I'm just going to chop my nads off for sure now. Yes, the hospital reception desk should be a sanctuary of professionalism. The big celebration saw old friends returning to Ferndale. Mrs. Brash, what are you doing out of bed? Well, I can't very well attend Dr. Warner's party strapped to a mattress. Well, you can't go at all, Marge. Oh, but I did get an invitation. And coincided with the show's 25th anniversary. I will grab your wheelchair. There was, of course, plenty of chaos, but we've covered that already. Don't worry, everyone, it's just a tremor. It's an eruption. What? You can see it from upstairs. Yes. Awesome. Wait, which mountain? Mount Ferndale. Oda Murray. Oh my god. Haley sacrifice a virgin. One of the earliest on screen birthdays was for Steve Mills' girlfriend, Sarah Donnelly. Left hand read. Steve and Sarah had started their relationship after her cancer diagnosis. Having a good time? No, I'm having a brilliant time. <laughs> there you oh. go. Thank you. Well, don't overdo it. Oh, that'd be silly. This is the best medicine. <laughs> Excuse me. Michael. For you. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday, Sarah. Jenny. What a fantastic party. But a tragic turn at her party perhaps began the tradition of shorty celebrations not going to plan. Not too tired? No, just wanted a moment by myself. Shall I go back in? Don't be silly. <laughs> hey, thanks, Steve. You having a good time? Yeah. <laughs> How did you know I always wanted a real kid's birthday party? I don't know. Just brilliant, I guess. <laughs> brilliant. Best birthday party I ever had. Mm -hmm. You do. <laughs> I must have been about about twelve. We just moved into Raglan, and I didn't know anyone there at all. No one. <laughs> so my dad decided to really turn it on for me. You know, give me an incredible birthday party. It was the best day. I got this amazing twelve-speed bike that I'd always wanted, <laughs> and Mum baked me this incredible birthday cake. <laughs> Where's the party girl? I don't know, she was here a minute ago, I don't know.
Come in. Hey, Harry. Sarah's wasn't the only birthday tragedy. Do you want a juice or something? Sure. And I've got a question to ask you. It's an invitation, actually. Sure, I guess. OK. Uh, movies? No. Party at your place? Uh, sort of. Our batch. We're going later on today and you're officially invited. Yeah, but it's my birthday tomorrow, remember? I know that. Well, it's a big deal for Mum and Dad. We're having a special dinner. Yeah, I figured as much. Basically what my old's do on my birthday, too. I bet they don't fight about it as much as mine do, though. What do you mean? Mum spends way too much on birthday stuff, so Dad gets grumpy and they start arguing. Oh, right. I tell her don't buy me anything, but I bet she's online now looking for a computer or something. It's the same every year. There's more to celebrate this year, though, eh? With you being well again. Yeah. So, what's this all about, eh? A special birthday request, I bet. Yeah, that's what it is. Well, you deserve a treat, you know that. Yeah, within reason. Well, come on then, ask away. I want to go to the Warner's Batch this afternoon with Harry and his mum and dad. For the rest of the day, you mean? For the weekend. Well, instead of having your birthday with your family tomorrow? That'd be really nice. But this is my first chance to go anywhere and I've been stuck inside for ages. And now I can actually walk places and do things. Please. Well, Harry has been a good friend to your picks and we know the Warners will look after you. So if it's what you really want for your birthday. Well, no, hang on a minute. I mean, you're still recovering from your surgery. I'll be careful. And there'll be a doctor there the whole time, so. No, you can go another weekend. I mean, ooh, we're looking forward to your birthday cake. And we could have lost you when you had the cancer. Look, we've got a lot to be thankful for this year. So we should be together. OK. I tell you what, why don't I dash out and get a cake and we can celebrate now? I'll call the boys, Pixie, you can open your presents and still go to the Warners. For Pixie Hannah, a special birthday weekend ultimately turned fatal. It's so beautiful. Now I know why you wanted to bring me here. I've got something I want us to give you too. Happy birthday. It's beautiful. Thank you. You're beautiful. And there's something else I wanted to tell you. Can you put the necklace on me first? And take a picture of me wearing it. I want to send that to Mum too. I had a phone call from Chris. Uh, Pixie is OK, but there has been an accident. Oh, what sort of accident? No details other than someone's got a broken leg and there was a near drowning. They've been flown in. The chopper's landing now. Protection for the IV, for your home and your loved ones. Drew's birthday began with new technology. <laughs> <laughs> nice moves. Oh, yeah, she gave Lorraine down to run for her money. <laughs> Isn't this a bit creepy? No, it's loving. But it's like you don't trust her. Well, it's not spying, it's protection from a distance. Uh-huh. How big are these cameras? Ah, uh, tiny. And spiralled into mistrust. How much? For you? Big discount. Really? For your birthday. Thanks. Oh, we're on. Oh, midday shower, refreshing. Cover your eyes. Uncover your eyes. Why? She's talking to someone. 
You need a microphone. I can get you one. You can just hook it up to your sounds. TK. Oh, my constellations. What is he doing in my house? And why is he so wet? That dirty dog. Cheer up. It's your birthday. Yeah. Harper's defrosting some mints for tea. She's a busy woman. Yeah, I know. Real go get it. That one lives life to the full. Can't blame me for that. What are you on about? I can't keep her happy, Boyd, so I'm gonna give up trying. Uh, what? She's a bolter, and the gate is wide open. No, nah. She needs her freedom to roam the savannah, and I'm gonna give it to her because I'm not supplying all she needs. <sighs> you can't have a midlife crisis yet. You're too young. Oh, thank you. Yeah, how about a toast to Drew? Hello. What's up with Tiko? Nothing. If there was a problem, you'd tell me about it, right? Of course. Hey, let's, uh, let's give that toast another go, eh? Come on. Mate, I'm gonna pass. Why? I need to walk and think. Well, OK, I'll, I'll come. No, no, no. I need to do this on my own. Hey, hon. There's some spag bowl on the fridge. Help yourself. So it's a bit dry, though. You okay? If you want a hall pass, you just tell me. Sorry? You and TK getting it on in my house. What? Bloody TK strutting his stuff like he's God's bloody gift. True. He is a low-life windbag. And you're a fool, okay, Harper. You, you have got this all wrong. You were as stupid as Kylie falling for TK's crap, but at least she's got an excuse. Kylie is a sad, broken wreck after Dylan's death and doesn't think she can do any better than stealing TK off Tarongapai. But what's your excuse, hmm? You trying to break Chris Warner's record for sleeping around? Can someone please put the lights on? Small thing, yeah? If you're gonna be tapping TK every day, we'll probably need a bit of extra soap in the shower. Lights now, please. Surprise! Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Drew. Surprise. Oh, For Drew and Harper's foster child day. Marley, his sixth okay. birthday party was his first. Hey, do you know what day it is tomorrow? Thursday. And it's someone's birthday. I'm turning six. Yeah, that's right. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> You're going to have some presents and a party? A party for me? Yeah. If your friends around and we'll have presents and, and cake and games, which reminds me I need to sort out the goodie bags. Games? Yeah. What sort of birthday parties have you had before? Mum and Dad had parties. They got shouty and played loud music. Oh. Well, did you ever go to any of your friends' birthday parties? Tomorrow, you are going to have a very special one. OK. <laughs> It didn't go off seamlessly, but as Ferndale parties go, it was still a rare success. Wow! I know, right? I was talking about you, actually, not okay. Uh, well, I know I'm beautiful, but that, that is a masterpiece. Now, the kids are in the car, but Marley is on to us. He keeps asking, why is Harper in the kitchen? How can we going out for breakfast? I think the kid's going to break me. OK, well, stay tough, say nothing, and I'll have this place set when you get back. OK. Now, are we going to do cake before clown or clown before No, I think we'll play that by ear. I don't know that your dial of clown's ever going to show up. Uh... Have a little faith, please. Look, we are not failing Marley on his birthday. Not like his mother always did. You're taking this really seriously, aren't you? Yeah, he's six years old and he's never had a party. That's outrageous. Yeah, I know. It sucks. I'm like that one made cake. Yeah, I'm gonna Keep your go. grubby hands to yourself. Now, go. This party's not going to set itself. I'm gone. Oh, and get candles. Six of them. Candles. Got it. And hey, just relax. Everything's going to be perfect. <sighs> Birthday. I need all the paper, okay? What's through there? 
there's another special treat lined up for all of you kids right through this way. Come on, kids. Everybody ready? All right, send in the clown. Yay! Okay, don't mind. just breathe. Just breathe. Yay, clown! Hey, give me a break, okay? I'm doing my best. Yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Go away! No! Hey, 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 hey! Oh, I'm really sorry. It's not your fault, boy. Better just get this one home. Um, sorry, Marley. Happy birthday. But the biggest birthday recently was another double header. Kia ora, New Zealand. It's 30 years now since the nation embarked on a risky new experiment called Shortland Street. With both Shortland Street and its future CEO, Esther, turning 30. <laughs> Surprise! While Esther's reaction was a little lacklustre... Well, you know, like, I thought it was a good idea. Birthday cake and surprise for her birthday, because, you know, everyone was so sad. But that's what we do, you know, we're, we're medical professionals and we just have to keep going. The same definitely couldn't be said for the celebration of Shorty's big 3-0. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the first act of the night, the Naughty Nurses!
that's our Shorty Selects for this time. Be sure to like the video and subscribe for even more Shorten Street from the archives.